we are in the middle of the worst failed experiment in human health in the recorded history of mankind. And that is the increase in a fatty acid that was, we were only had two to three grams per day, a mere century and a half ago, 1850. And at that time, we had virtually no cancer, no heart disease, no diabetes, no obesity, but now it's exploded. And men, there are so, such strong supportive scientific evidence that's all related to the increase of this one fat that has become pervasive in our diet. Being an engineer by trade, I did a lot of experimenting. What can I eat? What can I eat? What brings back the symptoms? What, you know, what do I have to avoid to keep the symptoms away? And, you know, it was a the sort of transformation that made everybody who I worked with comment on what a difference they saw in me. In very short order, it was a very quick change. The ratio is not really what's important. Um, what's important is in avoiding the omega-6 fats. And I mean, there are disease models like age-related macular degeneration where that's starting to be clearly understood. The important intervention there that prevents that disease from progressing is reduction of omega-6 fats and you can't prevent it by increasing your omega-3 fats. Looking at what are the effects of linoleic acid in uh, SARS-CoV-2 and SARS in general. So SARS is severe acute respiratory syndrome, right? SARS kills you by giving you what's known as acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS. ARDS is, can be caused by lots of different things, not just these viruses. Uh, you can get it from influenza, you can get it from uh, inhaling acid into your lungs. What's fascinating is the human literature is quite clear that you can induce ARDS through feeding seed oils. Very sick people who can't eat are fed intravenously, total parenteral nutrition. And generally this is used through a product called intralipid, which is made out of soybean oil. Some doctors did an experiment where they noticed that a lot of their patients who came into the ICU and got TPN then subsequently got ARDS. So they started playing with what they were feeding them. They discovered that feeding seed oils increased the rate of ARDS by seven times. <laughs> you wanna eat like your ancestors eat, ate because your ancestors were healthier and they were not eating industrial seed oils they were not eating industrial processed carbs in high quantities. They were making sure that they got lots of animal meat and animal fat. This is, I believe, the fundamental problem with our modern health is this issue of linoleic acid.